Live? L live? Screw it. We're doing it live. Hey there, my burnt nipple cakes. How you doing today? It's Super John Bombo here, and boy, do I have a surprising, surprisingly, awesomely amazing video for you guys today. Today, our goal is to try and get a Sun Temple door gunner. Now, if you guys don't know, a Sun Temple normally cannot be door gunnered whatsoever. A lot of towers cannot be door guttered, but we're gonna use a glitch. We're gonna use a, a some fabric of our imagination here to make this happen. All right, big shout out to Timothy for making this uh, this possible for me. But holy crap, guys, this is gonna get wild very, very quickly. So I'm gonna try to explain how to do it to you guys, but let me tell you guys, it is difficult. It's not gonna be easy to pull off. You guys probably won't do it on your first try, but this is possible at least within the current state of the game. I will also point out that Ninja Key will probably, probably, correct this mistake very, very soon, and we'll get rid of it so you might not be able to do it in a couple days or a couple weeks or whatever all right so to get started in here what we're gonna do is i'm gonna lag up my game hardcore right i got a program to lag up my game hardcore so we're gonna lag it up i'm gonna press the next round in here and what you're gonna notice is i'm gonna click the door gunner button which i believe is eight here all right door gunner button we're gonna pick up the sun avatar but before anything else happens we're gonna count out one two three four five six seven we're gonna get ready to hit the seven button but before we do that we're gonna click on our sun avatar then i'm gonna press the seven button all right next thing i'm gonna do is i am going to grab him but i'm not going to move him until he gets picked up, and then I'm going to move him. And then guess what, baby? Oh, snap We got this guy in, ready to go. <gasps> so we cannot click on anything, man. This is going to be wild. This is going to be very, very difficult to make this all happen. We cannot make this, uh, cannot make any mistakes here. I'm going to ready to click on my temple button here. I might absorb some of my towers uh, as well. I don't want to absorb all of them, but I might. And get ready because we're going to use our temple button with the hotkey. Ready for this, guys? We're going to go ba bam All right. Do we do it? Do we do it? Temple sacrifice? <gasps> we did it! All right. We absorbed some stuff. Now that is sexy. Now we've got a door guttered helipad. Now we cannot change this off. I know you guys want to see it in all of its mighty glory here. I cannot click off of this yet because now I have to do something else. I've got to go get in range of these guys because the next step is not to just have a ton temple but to go for that true sun god do we do it baby do we do it let's go all right all right true sun god do it okay i am not positive this is going to turn into a vengeful i'm looking forward to it i'm hoping for the best here no guarantees purple balloons up the freaking wazoo over here Another thing I should probably do is I should probably get myself some uh, some camo detection over here just in case with some jungle drums. Let's see if he's going to get absorbed here. I am not positive this is going to happen. But look at that. Look at the temple go. He's moving, man. He's in my door gutter. All right. Again, I'm keeping it slow for now. I'll speed it up eventually if things go properly. Oh, oh, oh dude. Look at it. Are we going to absorb these guys? Are we going to vengefulify, our vengefulify ourselves? Come on, do it. Do it. I know you wanna. Oh, no! He did not vengefulify himself. Oh, wait. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. He's doing it. He's doing it. There it goes. Oh, it's in slow motion, but it's oh, so beautiful. We are about to get a door gunner to vengeful temple of the monkey god. A moving. Vengeful Temple of the Monkey God, my friends. Holy crap. This is awesome. Again, pretty please press that like button for me because this is freaking amazing. We just did it, guys. We just did it. All right, let me speed this back up. Let me get this back into uh, regular speed here. And let's watch this guy go to town. All right, let's put this back on auto start. Ooh, my God. Oh, look at him. All right, all right, all right. So first of all, let's... He is in my support, uh, my special operation, so we don't need this guy anymore. Get rid of him. Uh, I do want to keep all these guys. I think I absorbed my overclocked uh, engineer. Hopefully, hopefully he's still overclocked over here. I'm not positive. 
There's no way to fix it if he isn't, though. Oh, look at this, though. This is so cool. It's so weird to see him without the base. You know, it's like he's literally just a moving sun temple vengeful god over here. It's beautiful, guys. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. And he can make these dark things all over the screen here. That is so cool. That is so, so, so cool. All right. Now, what do we do? What do we do with this guy? Just let him go to town. Let him kill everything. Just sit right in the very front here. Don't even let them get on the screen yet. Look at the rounds, by the way. These rounds do not take that long to actually go. Oh, purple balloons. A little bit painful. We don't have we don't have good camera detection here. And thus, we're in range of a village. It's so weird to think about. Holy crap. All right, we'll jungle drum some action over here. Look at him go. So look at these t the planes, by the way. They actually do follow him. Oh. They follow him all the way around. I'm feeling like I'm going to glitch. The, I'm like literally glitching the game so hard. The game's just going to get angry at me and break. It's just going to be like, no, Chris, we're done with you. It's just going to close out on me. I hope that doesn't happen because this is beautiful. Now, we also don't know what's going to happen if I try to continue this game. Is this what's going to be popping up here? Or am I going to have a glitched Vengeful Temple like randomly in the middle of the map? Or what the heck is going to happen? Ooh, also what I'm realizing. Oh, so these guys are now popping up around the heli pilot here instead. Oh, that was a bad balloon. That was a bad balloon, guys. We just annihilated it. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this. I absolutely love this. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this content here, guys. Oh, my goodness. Now, I, I don't want to accidentally press any of the wrong buttons here. So uh, what would happen if I accidentally pressed this guy and dropped him down on the screen? I don't know. Should we mess around with or should we leave him as he is? Ooh, also, I have him on follow mouse right now. We could do him on different things. We can lock him in place. We could put him on patrol points. I could just have him patrol from here to here. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful and scary. I would not want to fight that thing, man. That is scary as crap. Or... I mean, if you want, man, you can put him on pursuit as well. Let him follow them balloons around. Now, I would like to point out that this guy is actually truly one of the most powerful towers in existence ever. No joke. A moving vengeful temple. You cannot tell me that that's not the most powerful tower in the game ever. He is also, should be at least, I think, perma brood. Um, I did perma brew the sun avatar before I picked him up and did all this stuff. And. I did overclock him 10 times with our Ultra Boost over here. So now, I mean, I can get our Ultra Boost going again with these guys and re, uh, re sentry bot this thing. If we actually want to go, like, late game or anything like that, man, this is going to be freaking beautiful. I don't know. Do we, like, let it run out and see how high we can get? I think that might be a separate video for us. I'm just going to let it run and see if we can beat uh, at least 300, I think, is going to be pretty simple for us. I think. Because in my previous video, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I built temples all over the place. I did a really, really good job, and our max round was, I believe, 318. But it made so much lag, it was insane. So if we could end up doing something weird, like just using an Azili mobile vengeful temple combo, things could change quite a bit. I don't know. I don't know, man. This is just really exciting for me. Uh, one of the problems, actually, with this current video is that we're too good. Uh, we haven't even seen a balloon in a long time. Uh, you might see the tip of them, and then boop, they're gone. See you later. Goodbye. Why even try if you've got to deal with things like that? Now, again, lag is usually a huge, huge issue for a late game here, guys. But with one tower doing all of the work, he does so much damage and so much power, it just doesn't really matter anymore. Lag really isn't even a factor. So that being said... I think we might be better off going late game with this. It might only take us an hour or two to get to round 300 instead of six hours or something like that, like it did before. As far as other towers that we could add in here to make this guy even better, there's not too many more. Because uh, our biggest worry is, of course, the bad balloon. So you only want to put towers down that are going to hurt or damage the bad balloon without any lag. And there's very few towers that are going to do that, right? Uh, the only other towers that you could probably add in here are things that have weird abilities that might work out slowing things down or just doing something different. Like, for example, uh, a Grant, Grant Saboteur here. Get this guy going. Let him go to town on these things. Um, oh, look, we got a few of these guys showing up over here now. 
I think the game is confused. I don't think it knows what it's doing. Does it just assume that it's got like a, a singular location and it randomly just picks like, oh, this is the location for now. Because they were all down here the entire time. Now they don't care. Now they're throw going down over here. Around our village and around our Grand Scepter. Or is it whatever the last tower we put down is? <gasps> so if I put a dart monkey over here, are they going to start popping up over here? No. No, they're still popping up over here. All right. I don't know. That's so goofy. Ooh. Also, you can see the uh, the power up of the support vengeful temple because he's moving is changing around between active and non-active. Look at this. That is insane. And you can see the giganticness of the support aspect of this guy. I mean, look at that range increase we're getting here. It's like almost freaking double. All right. After you like add it up in both all different directions here, that's insane, guys. Unbelievable. Anyways, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video so far. I, I, I gotta leave you guys there because I want to make another video seeing how far we can get with this vengeful, uh, true sun, vengeful god right here. Again, if you guys enjoyed this content, pretty please press that like button for me. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't. Let's put him on pursuit for our last thing. Just see what he does. <laughs> oh my god. He's hilarious. He's hilarious. I love it. But again, pretty please press that like button for me. Subscribe if you guys haven't. Uh, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.